says the guy who was reading his diary. Ah, oh, well. Her diary. In Oakvale, a beautiful place. No, Oakvale's an ugly place. Uh... Right! I've heard reports that you've been doing bad destruction of a person's dereliction of sentry duty, despite having been asked nicely. <laughs> that sort of behaviour is not ex If you were older, you'd be apprehended and fired by the town guards. Well, good thing I'm a little boy. You need to decide if behaving like that is worth it, my young... I'll leave it at that for now. But... Oh. So, you're gonna be mean to me, eh? What the blazes did- I'm a town guard! I'm not the sort- unless you want to spend a night and- now, get it? Fine, I'll go hit this guy. <laughs> hey, little man, be careful with- What? You again? I'm hearing of your mischief rather regularly. Shall we destruction of, of a person's vendable dereliction of sentry duty, duty despite, despite having been asked nicely? nicely. Violent but conduct towards a person or persons, persons without, without God's, God's permission. permission. Do you realize the trouble you'd be in if you now go and keep your keep myself out of trouble? Fine, I'll be a good boy. Honestly, where's that good for where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? I don't know. Find him yourself, lady. <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. Oh. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? I don't know. I think that chick gets a nice kitchen to work in. <laughs> Honestly, where's that good-for-nothing husband of mine? I don't know. <gasps> I've lost Rosie! I left her. Her stuffing needs changing today, and I can't find her. Please help. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue pa Don't worry, I have it. You found her. Come on, Rosie. Let's change. Yay, good deed number two. What you gotta say about that guard? Alright, let's go. Don't want to spend any more time in this tutorial than I have to. Off to father. Ooh, chicken. I said, ooh, chicken. Haha, <laughs> kicking chickens. Hmm, I'm a man of my word. So, but if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you'll look, try to keep out of trouble. So, have you got enough money for a gift for two? No, of course I don't, old man. Don't you dare hit your own fat. You need to watch that temper, lad. Or you'll get your. I'm sorry, Dad. Ball Don't punch. You dare hit your own. You need to watch that temper, la. Again, I'm sorry. I'll I'll just be going. Ball Don't punch. You dare hit your own. You need to. Huh. I wonder if I could get him in the house. Don't you dare hit your own. You need to. Don't you dare. You need. Oh, Don't we're abusing dare. our you own father. I've heard you being back. What will your mother say? Pack Don't it in. Don't you dare hit your own. You need to watch that. Am I making him bleed? Don't you dare hit your own. You need to watch that. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. That was just fun. Anyway, I mean, who would want me to have fun during these LPs? That would be terrible. Whatever. Let's just go give Teresa her gift that we haven't bought yet. Hi, Hello, Teresa. Little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. Well, why don't you go get one, give it to me, and then I'll give it to you. Oh, nothing of interest. Alright, let's go buy that present. Run, Timmy, run! Look, there's a little swine. I'm going after him. Ha, can't catch me. 
I'm the oh, Timmy yes, man. What? I'm hearing of your mischief rather. Destruction of a, a person's vendable dereliction of sentry duty, duty despite having been asked nicely, violent conduct towards a person or persons with without. Do you realize now? Go! Uh, oh, that's for hitting dad. But I apologize. Let's break down the door. Or not. I wonder what you'll do next. Oh, you lucky us. Quickly, give me. Young sir, they are you. Alright, now we got our chocolates. Run, Timmy, run! <laughs> Come on. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Oh, why is the guard following me? I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like, come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my pup. Yeah, th that's right. Let's go home. Oh, Wait, cutscene. There's something wrong. How do you know? Oh, damn. Get out of the way. It's really happening. They're here! You've got to hide! Don't worry, I'm a master of hiding. <laughs> got one! No. No, not Oakvale! It's so pretty! Cutscene. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy. And soon, their bodies filled the streets. Well, maybe if the guards had fought back instead of chasing little boys, then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was then they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. Sad day. Oh well. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Maybe if I hadn't punched him in the balls so many times. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent. And their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. But not for long. But that's purely a guess. I mean, it's not like I haven't played the game before. And now we get to travel to through the burning town. Let's go! Oh. Didn't know there were so many people in Oakvale. Mommy? Daddy? I wanna play. Ah, it's on fire! It's on fire! Another cutscene. No, Dad! If only I hadn't punched you in the balls, maybe you'd be able to defend our family. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, end of the game. Guys. We must leave. It's not safe here. Oh, you can say that. They're again. all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? I do. Then, give me your hand. Teleport. Mommy told me not to teleport with random strangers. 
But who cares what mommy said? Ha ha. If only that guy had gotten here a little sooner. Maybe our fam my family wouldn't be dead and Oakville wouldn't be destroyed. But hey, I'm just nitpicking at this point. But it's true. Can't deny the truth. Hmm. I thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. Uh -huh. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. Yeah, There's nothing so be left grateful. for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Mays, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. Even though Maze is in charge, there's still a guy called the Guildmaster. <laughs> I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs, with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Mays knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. Alright, let's go. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For well, now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. Training for what, may I ask? <laughs> yeah, just leave the kid crying, Guildmaster. God, what a... Never mind. It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. Yeah. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Maybe I do. I'm a bad boy. A bad, bad boy. Anyway, that Whisper chick, she's a major bitch through the whole game. She's kind of our rival. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! All right, let's go. Woohoo! All right, here's the mess hall. Uh, can I talk to you? Hey, little man. He's dying. You're all right. I like you. Your teeth is only skin deep. Huh. I like you. Be careful, boy. That's dangerous. Yeah, he'll sell us beer later. Anyway. Because, of course, what would be an RPG without getting blacked out drunk? Guildmaster, where are you? There you are. All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Yes, sir. Now then. I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. Alright, that sounds all well and good, but how am I supposed to hit the dummy when you're on the other side? 